Imagine a threat that could displace millions within seconds. A threat that looms upon us. This very year. Mother Earth has been turning up her orchestra of disasters with increasing intensity, playing a haunting symphony of destruction that echoes across our shared home. She began with a murmuring tremolo, a soft warming that we barely heeded, but the ominous rhythm has grown more insistent, a crescendo of catastrophes that cannot be ignored. Volcanoes are roaring back to life with a fiery vengeance, their ash-laden exhalations blocking out the sun, casting foreboding shadows over once vibrant landscapes. When the Philippines' tall volcano stirred from its half-century slumber in early 2020, the heavens rained ash and lava transformed verdant fields into a ghostly expanse of gray. The earth itself has been convulsing in places where it once lay quiet. We've seen the ground beneath our feet betray us in locales such as Haiti and Nepal, entire communities erased in a trembling breath of seismic violence. Cities crumbled, monuments toppled, and futures were buried under the cold rubble of regret. The seas, too, have joined in the mournful chorus. Once idyllic shorelines have borne witness to the fury of tsunamis, their deadly waves erasing all their path with an indifferent shrug of aquatic might. Coastal regions have been left to nurse their wounds, etching stories of loss and survival into the annals of their history. And then there are the tempest storms, wilder and more unpredictable than ever before. They tear across our landscapes with a wrathful, relentless energy, like an angered beast set loose. The US Atlantic coast, the Caribbean, and Asia have seen hurricanes and typhoons grow more monstrous each year. Their destructive dances lay waste to the trappings of human progress. This macabre symphony of nature is growing louder, more discordant, and increasingly terrifying. It's a warning, a call to action, that hums through the bones of our civilization. Each note, each disaster is a plea for respect, for change, for survival. We ignore it at our peril. As the symphony rises to its inevitable climax, one thing is clear. The final moment could well be our own. But a threat even greater lies closer and more imminent than most would imagine. A threat that's immediate. A disaster waiting to unfold, which could tremor the livelihoods of millions within a matter of mere seconds. At Fox, just a few months ago, scientists announced the San Andreas Fault is due for another major earthquake, specifically in Southern California. Beneath the sun-drenched beauty of California, beneath the silicon dreams of Hollywood fantasies, lies a hidden titan of tectonic terror, the San Andreas Fault. A colossal scar etched into the Earth's crust. This seismic specter displaces its way through the Golden State, an 800-mile testament to the planet's primeval forces. Yet it is silent, resting, biding its time. It's the calm before the storm that has yet to break. It's those two plates are moving together, and whenever you get a little movement in that plate, a crack or something like that, that's an earthquake. This titan was unveiled to the world after a catastrophic masquerade ball in San Francisco in 1906. The ground danced, buildings swayed, and within mere minutes, the city lay in ruins. The costume revelers of progress standing aghast amidst the ashes of their civilization. It was this monstrous quake that drew the curtain back on the fault's menacing presence. Geologist Andrew Lawson and Harry Reid, entranced by the beast, began to study its tendencies and movements, shedding light on this slumbering dragon hidden beneath our feet. The San Andreas Fault is a boundary, a meeting point of colossal tectonic plates, the Pacific and the North American. Here they gauge in an eternal, grinding dance, each movement building tension, each moment bringing us closer to the next catastrophic performance. 
Scientists gaze into this chasm of potential destruction and see not a question of if, but when. Seismologists believe that the San Andreas Fault is capable of producing an earthquake up to a magnitude of 8.3 and possibly even an earth shattering, one of an order of over 10.0 on the Richter scale. A disaster of immeasurable scale. An earthquake of this magnitude would be the most powerful ever recorded along the San Andreas Fault, exceeding even the devastating 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which was estimated to be a magnitude of 7.9. To understand the impact of even just a possible 8.3 magnitude earthquake, we must consider both its immediate radius and the time from the event. The effects will vary depending on these factors, along with the local building codes, the depth of the earthquake, and the type of seismic waves produced. Here's an impact analysis between 0 and 10 miles. The destruction near the epicenter would be catastrophic. Buildings, especially those not built to very modern earthquake-resistant standards, could collapse entirely. Landscapes and ground liquefaction could lead to further damage and loss of life. Essential services such as power, water, and telecommunications would likely be disrupted. Transportation infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and airports, could be rendered unusable, hampering rescue and recovery efforts. 10 to 50 miles. Buildings in this range could experience severe damage, especially if they're not built to withstand strong shaking. Power outages and water supply disruptions would be widespread. Hospitals could become overwhelmed with the injured, and emergency services would be stretched thin. Five to 300 miles. Even at this distance, strong shaking could be felt, potentially causing damage to buildings and other structures. Power and telecommunication services could be interrupted. Economically, businesses in this radius could experience significant disruption, particularly if supply chains are affected. In the days following the quake, the terror would spread. The human cost would be counted not just in lives lost, but in people displaced, in families shattered. Roads would be impassable, hospitals overwhelmed, and food and water would become scarce. The technological luxuries of the modern world would fall silent as power grids failed, casting vast swaths of the state into fearful, uncertain darkness. Yet. The aftershocks of such an event would not be confined to California. They would ripple outwards, carried along the invisible wires of our interconnected world. Economies would falter, industries collapse. The Silicon Valley, the heartbeat of the global tech industry, could be stilted in an instant, sending shockwaves that would be felt in boardrooms and living rooms across the globe. The effects of the world's food supply could be equally catastrophic. California's agricultural heartland, the breadbasket that feeds millions, could be left scarred and barren. Prices would skyrocket, scarcity would lead to unrest, and the world would be reminded of how precariously balanced our civilization truly is. And then there would be the refugees. Millions of people, displaced by the quake, would be left homeless and desperate. This mass exodus would lead to a humanitarian crisis on the scale we have not seen before putting immense strain on neighboring states and countries. In the face of such potential catastrophe, what can we do? The answer is both simple and difficult. Prepare. This silent type serves as a sobering reminder of our place in the natural world. It lies beneath us, patient and potent, a testament to the fearsome forces that shape our planet. Like the video? Don't forget to subscribe and check out some more top content from our channel.